Hey comic book fans, my nerdy friends, my geeky compadres, what's going on? Happy Halloween. I'm here to do a Halloween themed uh, trading with RWC. And we're going to be looking at a book that's an Elseworlds story and I'm a huge fan of. Batman Castle of the Bat. Okay, Batman Castle of the Bat, it might not be a full-on trade. It's one of those prestige format Elseworld books, but I'm going to count it as a trade because I want to. So, um, Castle of the Bat, as you can see uh, by the cover, is a Frankenstein-like story uh, with Batman characters involved. Uh, it takes place in... Germany in 1819, Bruce Wayne has followed in the footsteps of his father and become a doctor and uh, I think a professor at the university, or at least he does all his research at the university. Um, so there's that. Uh, there's also a, a different origin story as far as uh, his parents' death. They were robbed and killed by a highwayman. Um, this is what he looks like. Oh, I forgot to say, uh, this is written by Jack C. Harris and, uh, Bo Hampton is the artist and the artwork I love. It's very much like watercolor kind of, um, just awesome. Just fantastic. And um, the story's great. Anyway, back to the story. Uh, parents killed by a highwayman, robbed, and Bruce Wayne was left alive. Follows in his father's footsteps, becomes a doctor, and has dabbled on his own in genetics. Uh, he has taken it upon himself to combine certain animal DNA with bat DNA, um, giving them like better like hearing. Um, but in doing that, he, he turned a, a dog uh, into a bat dog. Uh, and in doing that, the body of said creature uh, takes on bat properties. Now, one night he happened upon a secret tunnel that goes from uh, his castle to the university. And underground, they were keeping... Uh, one doctor was keeping, like, body parts in a new preservation liquid, um, preserving them for a longer time so they can work on them later on down the road while looking at all of these body parts lying around. Bruce Wayne happens upon his father's brain, uh, at that point decides to make a human out of these body parts using his father's brain and using the bat DNA to try to revitalize his father's like personality uh, by using his brain. Um, it's a really fun story, uh, especially if you know you're into Frankenstein at all. Uh, I am, and like this was just awesome. Uh, there's a lot more that happens in it. That's just kind of the, ba the basic storyline. Because um, I don't want to completely spoil it for you. I mean, but it, 
I mean, I gave you that part, and it's a Frankenstein story, so you kind of get the idea, and you get the gist. Um, but it's definitely well worth the read. So if you get a chance, pick it up, give it a read. You'll enjoy it. I know I did. Um, but I'm, I'm kind of partial to Batman Elseworlds stories. I've, I've loved almost every single one that I've read so far. So, um, But being that it's Halloween, this is a... Uh, a very good story to read on this particular day. So um, I hope you guys uh, have had a good day. I hope you have a great night. Uh, be safe. If you have kids, uh, enjoy the trick-or-treating time. I'm going to, and uh, I'll see you guys later. <laughs>